So the top 100, what did that mean to you to be on it last year's rookie? Uh, for me, it was an honor, especially being in the top 20. Top 20 last year, is it gonna be a, a lower number this year? Yeah. <laughs> I'll make sure of it. I'm gonna, I told you I wanted to be uh, the best player in the league, but I, you know, I'll settle for a, you know, top 10, you know, because it gives you something to keep working for. Let's go. Let's go. My number one player would probably be Michael Parsons. I'll go Michael Parsons. Yeah, my number one would be Michael Parsons for sure. Michael Parsons, such a force. Parsons is just ridiculous. Man, this guy is the real deal. When it's number 11, Micah Parsons, you have to be worried about where he is, no matter where he lines up. Once he's loose in your backfield, eventually something bad's gonna happen. And this guy is just different. Well, I go against this guy in practice every day, so Micah Parsons to me is as gifted a player as there is in the NFL. In 2021, he was Defensive Rookie of the Year, and in both his seasons, he was runner-up for Defensive Player of the Year. Micah Parsons' moves are already drawing comparisons to the greatest pass rushers of all time. That is the right skill of Parsons, the strength and then the reach to go get him. He's LT-like. Looks like Bruce Smith. That was a Reggie White move. You pick the guy up and throw him. Reggie White is looking down and proud of that one. That's the old Reggie White hump move right there on Mike McGlinchey. Parsons is already chasing legends, and he's even caught a few. Brady looking around, flushed out. Parsons has second. Third down three. Back to throw, looking middle, sacked again by Parsons again. I don't think Micah Parsons cares that it's Tom Brady. In the 2022 opener, he had the goat on the run all night. He bootlegs out there, and Micah Parsons was right in his face. I booted and Micah came tried to run outside of him. I don't have that young arm like I used to. Hey. He can beat you any way he really wants to. First of all, he's like a bobcat on the field. It's like trying to get your hands on a on a cat. You know, he had that 4-3 speed coming out of college. He knows how to dip. He's around six foot two, but he plays really low. He has got that ability to just bend, get his body lower than yours, and finish. You combine that athleticism with the motor that he has, and it creates a lot of problems. Parsons, he took their best offensive lineman, Havenstein, just shoved him aside. I don't care who you are in the league, that's tough sledding for any left tackle against Micah Parsons. Parsons just obliterated Jonah Williams, the left tackle. At any given moment, he can tear the game apart. You got to know exactly who he is on the field. Hey, let's make a play. Yeah, go make a play. Go let's go make go. a play. Back's got to get on him and chip him to help out the lineman. You know, the amount of you know, speed and quickness that he has, and he's just, you know, very dynamic and, and versatile. I saw a player, you know, he went out and covered a guy downfield, and, you know, you don't see too many guys coming off the edge being able to do that. The guy can play everywhere. It's no surprise that they put him on the line and off the ball and all that type of stuff, because all he got to do is find the ball and he can make plays. I'm about to get a force fumble right here, whoever scoop it. Plus, he strip sack you, he do whatever you want to do with it. Parsons has him, and it's a strip sack! Christian Derrissaw stopped him initially, but Parsons stayed after him. That's one of the things with Parsons as a pass rusher, the tenacity. Sometimes his sacks and the plays that he makes, it's, he's coming from the backside and he's running stuff down, how fast he is and the mode that he plays with. Parsons chasing, and Parsons caught him from behind. I remember seeing the one play, they threw a screen behind him, and then he ran it down and tackled him before they got in the end zone. It was pretty crazy. Parsons ran all the way over to get him. I got a chance to play against Micah in the Pro Bowl. And you know how the Pro Bowl, you know, usually goes. It's not, you know, as intense as the other game. He was going 100 miles an hour. But look at Micah. Micah going hard. Yeah, look. look at Micah's ass. Look at him. This freaking dude takes no plays off. Find number 11 every single play. He just runs the entire circle, constant pursuit. His talent is one thing, but his effort and how hard he plays is what separates him. Fumble the ball! Recovered by Dallas! Micah Parsons is on the ball! And he's still alive! He's still running! He's still moving with the ball! No contact! Live ball! And some play by Parsons to just get up and start running! 
Parsons is he driven or what and his desire for greatness he wears it. All the success coming his way is much earned and seeing the things he does on the football field is pretty spectacular. He can disrupt games. He's a game wrecker. He's always, you know, wreaking havoc. He just be out there in a the world of his own. He's just a freak athlete. I just don't think there's anyone like him in the NFL. But I definitely want to be the best player in the league for sure.